So there are two things that I found out in the wilds at thrift stores today that I need to highlight because I've talked about these things multiple times and I found two great examples just today out thrifting and two very expensive, easy to miss things that are probably on your thrift store shelves right now that you may be passing over and you might not know about this stuff. So let's hop into it. Well, hey there folks and welcome back to the pits of YouTube. Now today I'm doing something that I haven't done in a long time as a change my underwear. And that might not be a joke, but you're never going to find out. Now today I'm going to uh, two thrift stores. I haven't done that on, on the channel in a while. And I know that's a revelation for some, a reseller going to thrift stores. And here's the biggest of them all. I think this is the most massive Goodwill I've ever seen. It's just, I mean, look at the size of it. It's huge. That's what she said. And we're off into the magical aisles of Goodwill. I haven't been here in a long time. Can't say I miss it. It does smell nice. And we're looking at this intimidating wall of board games. But we're pros, and we're going to sort through this mess. Gestures, I've sold this game many times in the past, and it's brand new inside the box. It hasn't been played. It hasn't been opened, but there is some shelfware on the box, so I can't sell this as new. 25 bucks on Amazon. I'm taking it home for 3 bucks. Pricing at the Goodwill was a little bit better than I expected it to be. You can also make a few bucks if you want to sell it on, on eBay. I've never seen this game, Adventures in Neopia. I'm not sure what that is, but I want to go there because it's only a buck for this game. And it's from 2003 and it sells for about 30 bucks on eBay, which uh, which is cool. This is a new game that's going in the, the the mental Rolodex of things to look out for. So I'm picking this up for a buck. I'm going to hope that the pieces are inside for a buck. I'm risking my buck that all the, the pieces are involved. One of my favorite things is to look through the messy shelves or there's just randomness on this particular section. And I thought this was a bobblehead. If you guys don't know, check out bobbleheads. They often do them at, uh, especially if you have any sports teams in your area. They, they do a lot of stadium giveaways and they usually end up at, at uh, Goodwills or thrift stores because people just get them at the door. They don't necessarily want them. They just show up and then get rid of them. And I see there's a dirty stain on this guy and I'd make sure he wasn't broken. But then I remembered he likes to play in the dirt just like me. He's a baseball player. So one thing I did notice, he's in great condition. He's got all the pieces. However, he can't play baseball without a bat. His bat is missing. So that's no bueno. So I, I put him back in the box. And because I'm not a monster, I didn't leave the box open. I put it back how I found it. Then I find this. I did a whole video, the magical game of Quelf. Quelf, you can find it in at least one out of every three or four thrift stores. I've sold this game more than any other in my 13 year history. I've done a whole video on just this game. I think I've made over like $7,000 worth of sales on this game. Not making much. I'm only making five, six, seven dollars each time I pick this up for a couple bucks. Then I find this Monopoly game. I've sold this one. This is the Millionaire Edition and I've sold this in the past and I always look out for it. first to a million wins it says, but I think if you have a million bucks that you have already won no matter if you did it first or last. I think you're a winner. It doesn't matter. Even if you don't have a million dollars, I still support you. I want you to know that. Then I find this uh, Halloween. And this is something I want to talk about in this video. This is this is important. This is one of the things I'm highlighting, these Halloween. I actually made an entire video on how I capitalize on the changing of the seasons, the changing of the garden as seasons change and thrift stores and garage sales and people are clearing out their closets and burying their souls and secrets, you can take advantage and buy those secrets for very cheap. And that's what I do. And that's what happened today is I found some Halloween clearance at Goodwill, which was marked 50% off. And I'm going to hold on to it for the following year. And I made some good money on this stuff. I was sad that I only found three costumes, actually. And we find this pterodactyl, uh, cheapest way you can become a dinosaur, 250 at Goodwill. And I'm holding on to this until next year. It only sells for about 30 bucks. Then I find this Lydia from Be Beetlejuice. I know Beetlejuice was pretty popular this year. Hopefully it still holds on next year and I can get about 50, 60 bucks for this thing. And then this Huggy Wuggy, which we see is 70 bucks. So I scored big on these Halloween costumes. And I uh, just have to hold on. It's got to be about uh, 10 months before I recoup my money, but I only really spent 750 on those things. If you want to check out the video where I highlight 
where I find a bunch of jackets over this course of this year that were leading up to the fall and winter that I purchased for $2, $3, $5, or even $10. I sold a $10 leather jacket for almost $400 just a couple weeks ago and another Hudson Bay wool coat, which uh, I got for $5 at the very first garage sale that I went to this particular year and I sold it for $140. Then we're going to my favorite thrift store, Second Life. Here we go, back to the games as we do. And you're about to see a lot of other shoppers here who are being extremely selfish by blocking me from all the games that I came here to see first. I mean, can you believe the foot traffic in this place? Uh, here we are. And first thing I do see, though, is this Minotaurs. And I thought I struck gold because this Lego Minotaurs game, it's only seven bucks and I've sold this a lot. I knew it was like 40, 50, 60 bucks, somewhere in there. However, I'm restricted on Amazon suddenly. I have no idea necessarily why. I have an inkling or an idea why. Uh, that's for another video, but uh, I couldn't sell today, sadly. So I put it back on the shelf. That's just something that happens on Amazon from time to time. Then underneath it, this Lord of the Rings Trivial Pursuit, best movie ever made, uh, only four bucks and the box is a little beat up, but I know this has some value, especially around Christmas. The um, the Lord of the Rings games tend to go up. 56 bucks is what this is currently selling for on Amazon. So I'm definitely taking this home for only 4 bucks, as long as this plant here lets me get it into my, my cart. And then I find this true crime uh, sports cards, like trading cards. And imagine, imagine we're in a time where you can commit a crime and you can do some really heinous stuff and you can then be on a trading card i mean if that's the case then i want some reselling some youtube resale i want a commonwealth picker refractor or a harry tornado special series too office supplies i like to check these uh because i find a lot of ink cartridges and this was no different i find this brother toner only three bucks it's not a huge money maker but it does sell in the 35 dollar range so i'll end up making you know 10 to 15 dollars on something like that so always check your office supplies and i find this game another game i haven't seen before don't know how to say it not gonna try and this game was five bucks a little bit pricier than i obviously wanted it to be i'm only going to make about seven or eight dollars but uh this i'm going to be selling on amazon it's coming home and then i find this fantastic VCR DVD player. It's selling for 45 bucks, which is steep, but I did look it up. This I know some of these have some real value. It has the controller, it's complete, it's in fantastic condition. There's like no damage, it's really pristine. And I was actually selling for 125 plus another 25, around 150 all in with shipping. I ended up leaving this behind, and I think it was a bad decision. I might go back and pick this up because I think I can make like 50, 60, 70 dollars. And then I found this gem, and this was 299 today. And this is brand new sealed. I haven't seen this in a long time sealed. I find this game every so often, especially at garage sales, not as much at uh at thrift stores anymore there's a lot of different versions of this right this one happens to be from 1999 and i knew that this would have value but i don't remember the value of all different variations of the game you know if you get like a modern game from 2020 you know they, they make these and recreate these every few years they reproduce them a lot of the modern ones only sell for about 20 bucks but if you go back in the past some of them are more desirable i don't know why that exists is just like is a great mystery like why don't they just finally admit that the aliens are real and i don't think they're here to harm us it's just a mystery that uh, remains unsolved but this game 1999 version brand new seal i think is might be the, the most expensive version of this particular game even used this is brand new and sealed so i'm looking to get maybe a hundred dollars for this on ebay on amazon it probably even goes uh, a little bit more i forgot to check but i'm going to sell this on ebay and in the case that you find a pretty pretty princess out there always look them up even some of the, the older vintage ones uh that are aren't even uh early 2000s they don't have to be from the 90s some of those can also have 35 40 dollar value and the reason i'm highlighting that and highlighting pretty pretty princess just like stratego is when you go out there you might only find a stratego or a very modern pretty pretty princess and say it's only selling for 20 bucks and you might be your first experience with those games and then you may assume that all those games don't have value for when you see them out in the wild so, however that would be a mistake i've certainly made that mistake so look up strategos if you see different variations in different years uh, until you become really familiar with them look them up because some have some real value some older stratego games can go for 40 or 50 bucks and as you see here some some pretty pretty princesses put some pretty pretty 
money in your fancy pretty pockets and this one is gonna be fantastic for three bucks and i'm hoping to turn it into about a hundred dollar sale and as in my last video where i specifically talked about board games and how i sell a ton of board games on amazon really but i still do sell some board games on ebay specifically on ebay what ebay is great for uh, say you did find a pretty pretty princess out in the wilds and it's used and it's missing a piece or two uh, you can either uh, sell your pieces and they actually go for money on eBay or you can buy somebody else's pieces to complete your game and sell this game and get more dollars for it um, as a complete game. So, so we invested 35 of our hard-earned reseller dollars on this one. Gross sales, we're going to try to turn it into about 490 bucks. Selling and shipping fees, about 139 on all this stuff. Shipping supplies, I buy in bulk or use free stuff. It's going to be about 5 bucks. Net profit is going to be about $311. Now, I'm not a tax pro. 15% of that $311, that's $47 I do put aside to pay taxes next year. So if we take the net profits and minus that $47 of taxes, that leaves us with about $264 all in and then travel time is going to be about 25 minutes there 25 minutes back shopping and filming 30 minutes listing and sorting all this stuff we're talking about another 30 minutes packing and shipping another 30 minutes just about three hours or two and a half hours 311 divided by that two and a half hours it's about 124 dollars an hour or if we take that tax out that's going to be about 105 dollars an hour and i'll take that every day in my life